Welcome to Minity Maths. In this video, we talk about what surds are and how to find out if a root is a surd. Practice questions are at the end of the video. Subscribe to our channel for weekly maths videos. What is a surd? Let's start by having a look at this question. What is the exact length of the side of this square with an area of 5 metres squared? Well, it is practically impossible to write the exact length out using a decimal number as you would be writing the number out for the rest of your life and then you still wouldn't have finished it. You could round the number to two decimal places or even to a whole number but then this won't be an exact answer to the question. You may have tried to work this out using a scientific calculator in which case you will see the answer written as a root depending on your calculator settings. This is a third. So the exact answer to this question is the square root of 5. In fact, a third is just an irrational number. When we have a decimal number which repeats forever and has no pattern, in other words, we can't just put the recurring decimal dot above it, then leaving the number written as a third makes life much easier. It lets us state the answer exactly, with no rounding and no loss of accuracy. Don't be fooled though. Not all roots are actually thirds. If you can find the exact root of a number and it can be written as a whole number, a terminating decimal or a recurring decimal, then it is not a third. These are thirds as we end up with never ending decimal numbers with no repeating pattern. We cannot practically write these exact numbers out. Have a look at these roots and state whether or not they are thirds. Pause the video while you figure them out. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for weekly maths videos.